All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more TESPA Overwatch. So we're about to get started with our next match between San Diego State University and St. Clair College. I think I need to make an adjustment here. That looks a little funny to me. Sorry about that. That's better. All right, so let's see. We're starting off on Alios for game number one. We saw this one be a little bit of a rough spot here for St. Clair in the first match of the night. But let's see if they can turn this one around on San Diego State. We got a bit of a different team composition going into this first game. And, and San Diego just basically blitzed the point. They get right on there, but Dylan will be the first to go down because Crypt just pops them. Nicely done. They actually have a Reinhardt here. We got White Lotus trying to lead the charge. Moira getting smoked by the boulder, but he's going to be able to fade out of there before the stun takes too much effect. Walla on the Reaper, point blank with the tank line. But Tragic able to take down Kingdom, Kingdom Heart with the boop. Don't know if he knocked him off the stage or what, but took him down. But between Walla and Crypt, they are taking the kills necessary until Walla finally goes down. Strelizia going to get himself the kill. Dylan jumping in just to essentially get popped right away. And Crypt and Jub Jub are going to be the ones to take this first point for St. Clair. For St. Clair, of course, we have the starting lineup. Kingdom Heart, Crypt, Walla, Jub Jub, Demage, and Jussie. Same one as last time as our last match before San Diego State. We have Dylan, Strelizia, Tragic, Uwu, Chris. And Dylan, speaking of him, takes down Kingdom Heart. I'll continue that in a second as the Coalescence and the rest of the San Diego squad are charging in with ultimates. That's going to be a solid flux, actually. And the other Sigma on the other side going to try and match it. And it's going to be a, looking like a flip here right now for San Diego State as they're able to clean up this fight. With everybody brawling inside the control point, Kingdom Heart going to be the final one to go down. Perhaps a new methodology is required. And then the other two for San Diego State that I did not mention was Jamari and White Lotus. Ultimates currently for Sinclair. We have two offensive ones between the Death Blossom and the Blizzard. With the control point being so crammed, this is about... These are the ults you kind of want. Dylan jumping in point blank into Walla. Going to get out alive. Blizzard coming out right now for St. Clair. It doesn't cover up as much of the point as they wish, though. So it's not going to be as effective as they wanted. Big Shatter taking down the front line of St. Clair. Wraithwalk is going to be necessary to get out of this one alive. But it does not matter. White Lotus and Uwu Chris with the chase to take down the rest of St. Clair. So the, yeah, the blizzard was used, but it looked like it smoked a wall or something. It didn't actually cover the entire control point for St. Clair, which is a little unfortunate for that. However, they did save the Death Blossom, and now Damage does have the bongo for damage boosting available. Walla going to try and jump in through the roof, but I don't think he got the angle he wanted. But he is going to be able to get some sort of a consolation prize, taking down Dylan right before the fight even really begins. Coalescences and Bongos being dropped alongside a Death Blossom. And now that the shield's broken, this is Walla's chance to get a ton of damage in. And that, in fact, he does. St. Clair are going to be able to plow through and flip this thing back over as soon as they finish off Dylan, which Kingdom Heart does swiftly. 80% currently on the board right now for uh, San Diego State. And St. Clair looking to catch up, just breaking that 50% mark. It's not really in that danger zone right now where one team fight meets all. But it is slowly but surely getting close to it. And Dylan jumps in. He's going to meter strike to probably get out of there. He was pretty low on health. And White Lotus finds Jub Jub a little out of position. He's going to smoke him down. And then Dylan going to find himself the kill onto Kingdom Heart. Let's see if Jesse, the only healer alive currently for St. Clair, trying his best to keep everybody alive. But there's no way that he can get on there without getting blasted. He's going to try and keep Crypt up as best he can. Walla takes down one, but that is going to be it. San Diego going to be able to make the flip. Pretty close to a tie game, at, but until that point. But now 83% and counting right now for San Diego. And the only alt on board is the Blizzard. And we're luck 
likely going to see Coalescence before this one ends. 90% now. We need to see a move and we need to see it soon, but watch out for the possibility of a booping Lucio. Jub Jub was ready for it. That is going to be a uh, Death Blossom from the side of San Diego. And the, <laughs> the, uh, the Shat... Yeah. Reinhardt ultimate coming down to zone out the rest of St. Clair and that is going to be devastating for the plans of St. Clair and this first round of game number one is going to go over to Santiago State. Sadly for St. Clair, Ilios is not exactly looking like a favorite map of theirs at this point but which one did we get? It's about the same lineup as last time. So we saw them versus um, Austin, the University of uh, Austin, Texas. They did much better on this specific portion of Ilias. Unfortunately, they did still lose it. This is where we saw the, the double sniper play happen. And as of right now, we do have a single sniper with uh, with Jub Jub on Widowmaker, but they are actually going to make the switch over, try and keep the same team comp, unless I'm a liar and he makes a last second switch. And sure enough, we are going to see Jub Jub's Widowmaker make an appearance here again on the second point of Ilias. Let's see if he can make himself a pick here as the rest of St. Clair moves forward towards the point. He finds a shot, chunks him, but doesn't quite get the kill. Looking for another. And he does find Strelizia. So has a huge pick. One healer down. Let's get into the heat of things here. As for point blank in the front line with Crypt. Right in the front line with the Reaper, which is definitely scary. It looks like Crypt's the only one on point, exception of uh, the Reaper, exception of Walla. But now the rest of St. Clair is here to follow. And now that everybody's on board, this one's going quickly over to St. Clair's favor. Only losing Crypt from, uh, from Dylan's punch. And St. Clair are going to get themselves the first pick up here for round number two. Jub Jub looking for a pick. Gets some damage, but doesn't quite find the kill. He's going to try and get out of dodge, and sure enough, he's going to be able to. Retreating a little bit and spots the rest of the guys off on the left-hand side from San Diego. Looks for the pick. Doomfist jumping in. We do have the Coalescence actually doing a ton of damage going through everybody of uh, San Diego State. But nobody's really there to follow up. Jussie is doing all the damage in this case as they're pinched in that corridor. Crypt's going to finally pick up a kill, though, onto Dylan. But what else is going on here? So we got shields flying everywhere, and you're point blank with the Reaper. There is a Death Blossom if they want to pull this out pretty quickly. He is going to try it alongside this... The sound barrier. He's going to pick himself up three, and Jesse going to find another. And Walla going to take down Jamari. He got the ultimate at the perfect time. But we got to watch it for our backdoor cap as somebody tried to get a little cheeky. I think that was Dylan on the Doomfist. I'm trying to see if he could sneak himself a capture or two. Now, Jub Jub trying to find him here. Let's see if we can get a look. A little bit in the. Bit of an infiltrator here as he's trying to get the pick on somebody from behind him, I mean, lines. He does find the Doomfist. He's going to barely even tickle him, though. And he's going to get damaged pretty heftily. We do have a Flux coming out. Was that ours? It is not. Crypt still has his right here. So, Coalescence coming up. Jussie getting that thing real quick. And that's a nice boulder from Crypt, shutting down that Doomfist instantly. And this Flux should be all they need to take care of this point and possibly get themselves on the board here. As long as they can deal with Jamari, who's in the support line, and he, a nice job from Crypt absorbing that entire thing. Making that Death Blossom essentially useless. And it looks like St. Clair is going to be able to take care of this one. As long as they can deal with Dylan, who's just doing a fantastic job of stalling the hell out of this. There is actually reinforcements here. Strelicia on the Moriwa are going to try and stall even further. The Crypt is going to shut that down. The Wraith walking Jamari on that Reaper trying to get in here. Emergency Hammond, it's... It's stagger time, and it's about uh, desperation time. As the rest of the squad jumps in, it is too late. St. Clair going to bring this to round number three for the first game and this second match. This is the first time we're seeing the well 
for Ilias here. We're going to probably see a different type of team comp because it's that well is almost too good to pass up on. Being able to boop somebody in there or uh, drag them in there and getting a free kill for doing essentially no damage is just too good to pass up. And we sure enough are going to see Pharmacy here for St. Clair to try and do just that. Farah's got a lot of good sight lines and a lot of good buildings to cover if need be. So let's see what they can do. Actually, a nice little boop there, keeping everybody away from the shield, but not enough to get them into the the well. And Jamari going to be the first one to pick up a kill as Walla going down, as well as Crypt. Jump Jump's pounding away on these guys from above, but the rest of the squad from San Diego just blitzed the rest of St. Clair. So you poke all you want. Poke is nothing if we just solid engage on you. And that's exactly what they did. Okay, there we go. Jub Jub going to be able to get us himself a kill with the damage boost from Kingdom Heart. Let's see if they can turn that into some offense here as we're about 90% of the way to a barrage. But with the... Roadhog there. That's kind of scary if you stand still. And sure enough, Tragic's going to catch St. Clair off guard. And they're going to get two. Barrage is right on top of so many of them. Two kills for sure. And that's going to turn this fight into at least even at this point, I believe. It's a matter of just taking down Dylan. And he's going to be extremely elusive. But right now, Kingdom Heart and Jub Jub feel like they're the only ones on points. Am I correct on this? It does look like it. So they're basically just going to go down ultimate blown and the rest of the team were still at base so a little bit of a uh, miscommunication i feel here for st Clair. i don't know if it's a pattern i'm seeing here but unfortunately it just feels like jub jub is getting a little bit over aggressive compared to the rest of st Clair. and okay that was a nice little boop there white load is going to go down from a concussion shot or whatever you want to call it from uh, from Jub Jub and Jesse's going to find himself another as we ride with him here as he tries to duel this Reaper and with Crypt's help he's going to be able to do this this thing's still contested though tragic just being an absolute pain and he's going to get um ooh, Chris going to get Crypt sucked down into the well but finally think they're going to be able to flip this thing but 89 percent currently on the board for San Diego. You can't really mess up with one more team fight, otherwise it's probably going to be curtains here. We got a barrage on deck, and that is about it right now for St. Clair to try and defend this. What do San Diego have currently? And can they take down this tank before anything really even happens? Wanted to try and chase him down, but it's going to op against it. As Okay, he's just going to point blank him right there in the corridor. Nicely done until Dylan comes down and just slams the fist down and shuts him up real quick. Kingdom Heart barely getting out with his life. Doomfist chasing him down. Jesse, the only one there to try and help him out. Coalescence is available, but he's in a really rough spot to try and use it. He's going to try and keep Domage alive, but he was behind the building, was not in line of sight. So this Coalescence is going to burn with no prevail. We are contested here on the point, but everybody's basically going down. It's just a bunch of emergency characters coming out right now for St. Clair. And with the clock ticking and nobody able to contest, this is looking very promising for the side of San Diego. And this one's going to be emergency Hammond and instantly pop down once you get smoked by the Roadhog. And this is going to be game number one going over to San Diego State University. Another hard-fought match here between both sides. But game one, going to go over to San Diego. With White Lotus' is Reinhardt actually getting the play of the game. Let's see it. Fantastic play there for White Lotus. Of course, that, that shatter catching so many players and walling off the team from the players who had already dived onto the point. So, so far, so good for San Diego. Saints need to find a way to turn this around, as we're probably going to King's Row more than likely.
Unless they decide to switch it up. I don't think St. Clair is going to be taking a break after that one. So unless San Diego wants to, I think we're going to go into this pretty much right away. I'll admit that was much better than the the Ilios match that we've seen on the first one, anyway. And it looks like we're going to have a side switch here. As per request of San Diego, they're going to try and defend here first on Eichenwald is actually going to be the map pick. If this stands, and they're going into it, so it looks like it. Let's hope we don't get a spectator crash. Are we still living? I think we're living. That's perfect. <laughs> so it's about do or die time here for St. Clair. They need to take this take this W to make sure they get themselves a shot at a game three, because I'm sure they don't want to go. 0-2 in test by this week. They're fighting hard, but it's just not been going in their favor so far. San Diego State buying the plays they need, finding the picks they need. And you can tell the Saints are trying to cook something up, because normally this would have been an easy, like, oh yeah, we're just going to King's Row, let's just do it, you know. Like, same old, same old. But they're actually picking up Eichenwald, so we don't get to see this too often from St. Clair, so I'm definitely excited to see it. Because I haven't seen it, like, at all. I'm, I don't know what kind of uh, special plays they have. I don't know if they have any sort of, like, there's no equivalent of Symmetra Bash Teleport. But I'm sure we'll see relatively soon. All right, let's start things off. Jub Jub is back on the Farah. Walla's on a Hanzo. And we have an Ana here. I think that's from Jesse, so. Yeah, Pharmacy trying to take over the skies once again. Let's see if I can get ourselves a point of view of that. As we see San Diego up in the high ground with the Bastion to try and defend this. So Jub Jub needs to find himself to flank behind and he's gonna be able to do it. And he actually takes away the support. He's gonna force the Bastion down the jump. And it's going to at least put them in a little bit of a scatter. Enough of a scatter, actually, that Walla could get the first pick onto White Lotus. So one big tank line gone. And that is a very long walk back to this fight. Jump, jump. Trying his damnedest to try and shut this down. He does manage to get down the bash or the uh, invulnerability field. And slowly but surely, St. Clair is going to be able to turn this fight into their favor. And are likely going to take this first point. I'm pretty well uncontested. Very nice start here for St. Clair. Your support has arrived. All right, so now it's time to push this thing, so. Jump, jump, Kingdom Heart. Keeping the same pairing so far. Let's see if we can get an angle on that. Okay, so they do have a rough idea of what they're walking into. San Diego up high once again on top of the building. They do see Dylan trying to be a little bit cheeky up there on the roof get a crazy flank on somebody, but at least it's called out, so it won't be very surprising for any of the Saints on the ground. And now they actually all just dove. They didn't wait for uh, Jub to try and get a kill. And here we go, the barrage coming out from Jub Jub. He's going to at least get three kills before going down. So a solid trade so far for St. Clair. As the rest of them are fighting on the point, Crypt finding himself too, taking down Straliza and Dylan. And Kingdom Heart going full battle mercy. He's going to take down Tragic before anything else gets too crazy. And St. Clair are going to be able to take this fight and push this cart probably close to the bridge. San Diego taking their time to try and get back out of this point. Some of them going high. Some of them just going to try and hold the bridge, stop this cart from progressing. 
And a Dragon Strike through the door is going to be the option here from Walla. Try and cut people off. And it's actually going to catch Strelizia. But Dylan does find Jub Jub, who had switched over to a Widowmaker. But it does not matter. Crypt's going to be getting himself on the kill board, picking up to Demage right there, point blank with the Lucio, and just beats him down with a gun. That must have hurt. But it's going to get them the second point pretty quickly and pretty convincing right now, actually, for St. Clair. Looking fantastic so far on Eichenwald. So we just have Valkyrie and the Bongo right now for St. Clair in terms of ultimates. White Lotus a little bit out of position, but shields are there to protect him. He'll be just fine. And there goes the Bongo and that nice shot there from Walla to take down one. And Jub Jub finds another. And he's going to keep on going as the, re <laughs> as the rest of San Diego are falling down. All the snipers are doing all the work right now for that fight. But everybody else is being solid coverage for them, it seems. Nice little breach. And that's going to be a very fast three-pointer here on Eichenwald. Nicely done, St. Clair. Night and day difference between these guys. It's looking good so far. Now we got to see. Got to see what they want to pull out for defense. I'd like to make a prediction, but I've never really seen Saints play on this map. So it's going to be... We're going to be learning here today. Farah Hanzo with an Ana, Mercy, and so the standard tech line of Sigma Orisa. Might be what we're looking at here. Demage still sitting back. I'm wondering if there's going to be a change possibility. No, they're going to they're going to roll out. So standard tank line alongside a sniper and Farah. And Jesse Kingdom Heart with Ana Mercy. Just a matter of figuring out where they set up. I know from the last round, we did see San Diego go up on top of the building. However, it looks like we're going to set up in, like, this doesn't mean to be the disc, but a, the solo queue spot where you're just kind of hovering around the, the arches with your shields. And sure enough, that Orisa almost got popped before this thing even went down. Ooh, ooh, nearly getting taken out. They're going to opt to try and go for this tiny little corridor. And that's a huge halt, actually, there from uh, from the mage. Packing on a lot of extra DPS. Jub Jub's going to be the first casualty, though. Jamari switching over to a McCree. Actually coming in clutch to shut that down. Crypt point blank with everybody here, with Dylan and the Doomfist and everybody else. And Walla going to find Dylan, finally. Crypt is trying to contest this, but they're actually just getting manhandled and pushed around to the point where they're going to almost capture this by not touching it. But Demage and Crypt are going to be able to get onto this before anything too crazy does occur. As long as somebody is touching this, it won't go over into their favor. But Jussie is going to be the next casualty in this fight. Kingdom Heart, extremely low, is going to get taken down. Dragon Strike goes absolutely nowhere. I swear that's been a pattern today. But it does happen every once in a while, I suppose. And this one's going to be turned over to San Diego State. They held it a little bit longer than San Diego State did, I think, but about the same in terms of results. Now let's hope that San Clair has a better idea for this point anyway, in terms of defense. As the point rolls through the next set of arches, Let's see if Walla can find himself a good angle and a nice little call out onto Dylan as Dylan looks for the flank. And that gets shut down pretty well instantly. Riding back along with Crypt in the front line as we have the snipers doing work, getting themselves two kills. Demage getting on the board and Crypt chasing everybody away. And it's going to be a solid, solid defense so far. But again, an, a stupidly over aggressive push. 
is going to cost St. Clair again and again, and I swear we see this so often to the point where you could probably hear it in my voice, a little bit of unfortunate frustration from St. Clair. They win the fight and they just push. I know you want to be aggressive to keep them kind of stuck in their spawn, but if you're going to do that, have everybody do that, you would think. But I mean, I'm definitely no master. There's a reason why I'm behind the the commentary desk and not the uh, the player desk. But we're going to have the nano boost onto Demagus. He's going to start just plowing through everybody. Doesn't even have to use the bongo. And we got the flux actually coming out. He actually got booped from White Lotus, I think. White Lotus was the last to touch him as he goes down. Kingdom Heart going to try and keep at least the healers alive. Let Walla do as much work as he can for as long as he can. And we know Jussie is basically a DPS on support anyway. So that Ana is going to try and do as much work as possible. Just chasing down the tank, no fear. Completely dauntless chasing these guys right now. And Jub Jub on top. Trying to find a pick and he does get one. Tragic is going to finally take down Jussie though. Jub Jub still back there. Let's see if we can hop along here with Damage as he does pop the bongo. Giving everybody a huge damage boost. Tragic. Also seems to be a DPS on support as he does manage to take down another. I feel like I'm calling out his name a lot here today. And unfortunately, Demage is just going to get swarmed by the San Diego State squad. And this is going to go right to the second point. And we are down to 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So, so far, St. Clair's defense, it feels like it's got some holes. But it's still a bit stronger than what San Diego gave us. In that last one. However, this fight has been absolutely atrocious right now for St. Clair as everybody got melted one by one. This is going to be pretty well a final fight at the point for St. Clair. We have a Dragon Strike available. These haven't been on the mark so far today, but this one's going to go at least across the point. But everybody was ahead of it, so it's not going to make its mark as needed. Jump Jump making the switch over to Sombra does find Dylan at least, so the Doomfist is off the table. But meanwhile, the rest of the St. Clair is not quite there just yet. Jesse going to do his damnedest to try and stall this thing. Using Fade, just keep getting him back and forth. Tried to get the healing orb on it, but was not going to be there fast enough. This thing's being pushed. Mage there for the emergency Hammond alongside Walla's Reaper and Crypt on the Sigma. Let's see what they can do going for this point. Jump Jump is still here with the Sombra if needed. That's going to be the Death Blossom coming out from Jamari. Going to clean up so far. There's a lot of dead saints right now. And it's going to be no contest. We're going to be getting a 3-3. We're going to play some overtime rounds. St. Clair with the better time bank, though. 4.23 compared to the 3 minutes. Yeah, 3 minutes and 2 seconds. So a nice competitive back and forth match. I do like what I'm seeing. I'm glad that Tespo Overwatch Sunday is giving you all a good show here at home. But I definitely want to see this go to a game three. I want to see St. Clair get themselves on the board and turn some of that negative momentum around and bring it back into their favor. Think any of these taps still work? I'm feeling it. Hello. Okay, so starting things off, St. Clair going to be on defense for the first set of overtime. We have Jub Jub on the Hanzo instead of Walla to on this round, so that's a bit of a bit of a difference. And that's because we have Walla on the Bastion, so they didn't bring it out during the first one, but now they're going to go for a Bastion comp here for the overtime. Let's see what they can do. They're going to set up in the exact same spot that uh, San Diego did. Just in the back line. Not worry so much about that initial archway. Instead, focus on just opening fire on them as they turn the corner here. And sure enough, as they walk around, there isn't exactly much cover from the bash. And let's see, throw a shield there. So they're going through the building, it looks like to try and slowly but surely get to this point. Jub Jub going to shut it down. Dylan going to be the first casualty in this fight. They have since jumped down and while well, giving himself like a siege pixel angle almost through that point. And 
This is being a little bit difficult. They're they're moving around so much that it's forcing Walla to just keep on going into recon mode, forcing the shields to never be on him. Thankfully, he was able to get Dylan before anything got too out of line. And Demage is going and the rest of the Sinclair squad are gonna be able to trap the rest of San Diego in this point to the point where Walla just jumps at him and point blanks them with a turret. That shield could only handle so much, and the rest of San Diego is gonna go melt down here as we sit right along with Crypt as the rest of San Diego melts. Just a matter of dealing with Dylan, and there he goes, Jussie getting himself a triple kill in that one. So it looks like actually clever play from San Diego to constantly just keep moving to the point where Walla couldn't sit still in front of a shield. Was a fine idea, but did not come to fruition here in this first attack for their overtime rounds. One minute, 20 seconds on the clock here for San Diego. The Maywall got a bit of a switch here coming out for San Diego. Going to be a little bit of a nuisance here for Walla up in the high ground as we hop back in with him. The Dragon Strike going to cut him off here in that building. Might have been a little preemptive, but it is going to stall out the clock a little bit. Tank Forum coming out right as they join in. A huge halt to stack them all up, but he gets frozen right as he gets the right angle. This May is just being an absolute nuisance, and sure enough, that is going to be Dylan making the switch off to Doomfist for, I feel like, the first time this game. And it's going to be super effective so far, as Walla barely surviving until he finally isn't. Jamari getting himself the double. Jub Jub's still right there, though. He could possibly keep this going alongside Crypt. But Crypt is going to go down tragic once again, getting on that kill board. But it looks like this is going to be finally the point going over to San Diego. But they're going to use basically their entire time clock to try and get it. So they cannot leave this point once now, as we're about to see them lose all their time with 10 seconds. Now or never right now for San Diego to try and push this thing as far as possible. Set the bar for St. Clair to, to beat. However, it's also do or die time now for St. Clair. They want to shut this down. Make that game three so much easier to get. And with Demage getting a pick, that's a good start. But Dylan also making himself look like a sniper with that uh, with that May. Taking down Jub Jub. A Bongo in a pretty good position from Demage right around the corner. Death Blossom, but it's going to only get one. Walla going to trade out. Dylan does take down Jussie, though, but one more is being brought back to life. Crypt is going to get back into this fight, but it looks like a bit of a mess here for St. Clair. So much crowd control, it feels. This May is just not being stopped, it feels like. Just anybody who's there is just getting frozen, focused down, so... There is still life here for San Diego to try and get themselves another point. But nicely done for Jub Jub. We didn't quite see it on screen, but he does find himself the snipe. But of course, Tragic just being an absolute nuisance as always. And Jub Jub Poison Mine is actually going to take that down. So at least the one healer, the one support line of San Diego goes down. But Jussie and Walla also get taken down by the Coalescence of Strelizia. Jub Jub, unfortunately, is going to get taken down by White Lotus. And now this is looking a little bit messy for St. Clair. They're going to pop the Flux, but if you don't get this now, it's going to be scary. Thankfully, they do take down Uwu Chris. The Blizzard is going to get everybody here, though. This is an absolute rough spot to be in. The supports are the only ones here for St. Clair to try and stall this. And that's not enough DPS to try and do it. Jussie's still hanging on for his dear life. Jub Jub is now in the picture as well. But Tragic is going to take him down. And tragically for St. Clair, that is going to be another point going towards San Diego. A solid push for them. Just not catching St. Clair where they want him. Finding some picks before the fight start. And it's been looking so far so good. Now or never. I know I've said that a few times so far for St. Clair. And Jump Jump switching over to a, a Junk Rat is actually going to find Strelizia pretty quickly into this battle. Walla is so low right now, but thankfully Jussie was right there to keep him alive. Dylan right there with the St. Clair squad trying to free somebody, but thankfully nobody getting caught up too badly. Death Blossom in the background. Where is it? We see Crypt almost going down, but it's going to be Jub Jub taking him down. Coalescence coming out from Jussie to try and just push these guys off the point. 
but the ice block from Dylan is going to keep things in there. That's a huge tire. Jump Jump coming in with a huge tire to finish off three of them. Crypt's going to get two more, and then St. Clair going to be able to at least stop the three-pointer. Now that second point was a little messy for St. Clair, but they did manage to pull it together as we're going into their attack with four minutes and 23 seconds. A little bit more on the clock for them, but not a whole heck of a lot. Yet they have to push it further than what uh, San Diego just did. Orisa. As excited as I have to see a Genji, I highly doubt that we're going to see Wallace stick to this. If we do, I am going to be pleasantly surprised. Your safety is my primary concern. Greetings. Yeah, we see a couple different characters, but I'm not sure if this is the point where you want to do uh, something different. But again, I trust these guys, and sure enough, we're going to get about the same thing, so it's got to trust their opinion, but I am low-key kind of happy to see something that we've seen earlier today come out to play. Of course, Jub Jub back on the Farah. Going to try and split these guys up, and the Boop is going to actually put up someone out of the position, and White Lotus is going to be the first one to go down. Damage finishing off that one, while well, Jub Jub's got to be careful about the McCree. Dylan does get taken out by Jussie. Nicely done there from the back line of St. Clair. Crypt barely staying alive. That was a nice attempt to sleep dart on Lucio, but he's a pretty pretty mobile character. It's kind of hard to catch that guy. As you see, he's just point blank with everybody, especially with the snipers. But Jub Jub and Crypt are going to be able to team up with the rest of the squad, take care of the defenders. And even with Kingdom Heart rising Walla, everybody is on board to keep this pressure going. We try to see. Jump Jump's going to try and scout out to see where the rest of the San Diego squad are. And he does spot them up on the high ground, so he's going to be able to put some pressure on them before they get the chance to set up. Especially if they had a Bastion or something, but they do not. It's going to be the May McCree once again. So Jump Jump's still going to be under a little bit of pressure too if he's not careful with that McCree out in play. As we see, a bit of an awkward angle for the rest of the St. Clair squad to try and push through with them being up on the high ground. Okay, cool. That one's coming out from this side of uh, San Diego. It's going to be Strelizia starting things off, doing a little bit of poke damage, but we have a barrage available. If Jump Jump finds somebody, he can easily blow them up now. The rest of St. Clair pushing forward with the Dragon Strike, actually, it goes right through Jamari. He's going to go down pretty quickly. White Lotus drops as well. Damage getting a kill. Dylan's going to just jump off unless he got booped by Jub Jub from the skies. And this is looking very strong right now for St. Clair. Plowing through this second portion. I know they had a hard time defending it, but it appears that San Diego has a hard time too. Nice shots coming out right now for St. Clair, especially from Walla. He snipes off. The Lucio Tragic is down, and they're going to get this thing essentially right to the door. Demage is set up on the right-hand side, trying to cut off that entrance at least. Or at least make it seem like he's going to try and cut off that entrance. And they're going to blitz the left side with a blizzard. They're coming in hot. But a barrage from Jub Jub blowing up Jamari pretty well instantly as he is nano-boosted as well. Looking good so far for St. Clair. Jub Jub finds himself another. Tragic gets slapped from the top. Nice shot there from Jesse at ooh, comboing up with the flux. And that is going to be a dead bay as soon as she's out of there. There we go. St. Clair firing on all cylinders for this one. Just a matter of trapping Dylan. They're finally going to do it. Walla going to trap him down. And there we go. Two points on the board with a minute 20 left on the clock. This is still completely doable for San Diego. That isn't necessarily a ton of time but they also don't have to push it that far, especially if St. Clair is going to have an aggressive hold position similar to what Crypt is trying to set up right now. As long as everybody is on board, we have a barrage, we have a dragon strike. This 
is looking so far so good. He's going to let it launch. It's going to go right down the center, and it doesn't look like it finds anybody. In fact, it's going to be White Lotus who's going to be the first one to find the kill. Dylan and Walla, or Dylan goes down. Tragic getting a kill as well. Saints are down with 40 seconds left. Pretty well now or never right now for St. Clair. This single push of only a couple meters is going to be critical. If they get it strong, they're in good shape. Jump Jump was actually behind enemy lines this entire time. He did not get picked out in that fight, and I don't think they know he's there. If he can get the flank, as the flux comes out from the side of uh, from San Diego, they can do it quick. And sure enough, there's Jump Jump from the high ground up on the, the far angle. He does manage to take down two. White Lotus almost going down from Jussie, but it's not going to be enough. It actually looks like San Diego is going to be able to pull this hold off. This res might be their only chance here as Kingdom Heart is alive here with Demage in the front line. And who is that with it? We got Crypt and Walla. The cavalry has arrived, so to speak, but so has the sound barrier. Going to make this extremely difficult to try and plow through. Walla's going to try his best, but to try and get some accurate shots in such a cluster of an engagement is going to be brutal. If he can happen to get a Dragon Strike, this would be huge, but he's not going to be able to. Never mind, he does fight it. He's going to fire it for glory, but it's not going to do it. San Diego, by the skin of their gums, going to be able to hold this one off. A very, very competitive, very excellent game from both sides. Now, of course, this one, Junkrat, the play of the game stealer, as always, he does find himself a nice triple in this engagement, going behind the shields and blowing everybody up alongside Crypt, but... Very good game. Congratulations to San Diego getting the victory here tonight.